Hello everyone, Radar here with another grounded video. Today's video will be building another base. I got this base design from Lorenzo Saucedo when I was doing my most recent um, Grounded with Viewers stream. And when I ran up on it, I couldn't think what it was right away. I had it in my head, I couldn't think of it. Chat helped me. It looks like a hot air balloon. At least that's what I saw. You may not see that, but I see that. So, with this permission, I uh, recorded, the the recorded it so I could then make this video to share the build with everyone else. I've made a few small tweaks, so Lorenzo, I hope you don't, uh, I hope you don't mind. I added an out so outside pallet storage area, but let's get up into the base. We give you a little quick little tour, and then we're gonna build it. So you got your stairs coming up. It's l anchored on this law, this route right here, and we are right here. There's the Welp flavor drink. That's where the the uh, outside outside storage area is built on top of. And then from up here, we have the little bottom area where he has the water. Up on the little half shelves like this, which really cool little effect to it. You can put more boxes in here. When I actually do the build, I'll actually, you know, kind of surround this area with boxes. Because there are some boxes in this building, but for those who like a lot of boxes like myself, there aren't that many. I put the bed down here. He has, for him, he has his lean-to up on top. But I got to put mushrooms in every base and I needed a spot, so I put it up on the very top. I also put the uh, marker right here. His marker is also on the top. So a few small adjustments. So we go up to the, up the, to the second level. And the way up there is either this side or that side. Uh, being creative, I was able to get the handrails and some lights in there. Um, I could not do his little uh, setup where he had the wall directly in front of the workbench. So it looked like the work workbench was reaching through the wall. So I was not able to uh, duplicate that, unfortunately. I was able to put a basket underneath for a little extra storage. I put some boxes right above here. As well as, you know, I put the smoothie, the cooking pit, and a couple of spinners. We also have some boxes over here. We got four boxes on each end. I believe he has six because he has another. He has a third row, but I didn't go up there. I also put armor dummies at each end with a little, you know, little point sticking out with light on it. Uh, the exact same thing over here as well. The four boxes, armor dummies, and then over here is just another little window. You can obviously add more to this. You could take away. It's up to you. Um, always, always up to you. It's your world. So the way up to the very top is out this little window. You turn around, and you go up the roof. Up here is where you're going to have the jerky racks, which you see I kind of have tried to attach the lights to the jerky racks, but they uh, they just float in front. But it still provides more than enough light for this roof area, at, roof area at night. I put a box in front of each one because if you have seen my uh, 20 plus aphid kills with one gas arrow video, you're going to be making a lot of jerky a lot, uh, real fast. I'll link that in the description below. And then, like I said, I put the uh, mushroom garden top center. Uh, you could put your, you don't have to put that here. Obviously, most people don't use mushrooms after you get, after you get uh, to a certain point in the game. You could put your zipline anchor up here and send out your zip lines, or you could even elevate it a little bit more and maybe go some stairs up to the zipline anchor. So that's all kind of how you want to do it. Or you can just add a tower off the top, but that might change the aesthetics a little bit much. My least it would change it too much for me, and I wouldn't do it. So we're going to go down in here, and I'm going to pause the video while I pretty much delete everything except for the three um, scaffolds on the bottom. I don't want to get rid of those because I don't want to have to uh, try and find that mark all over again. So let me go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to tear everything down and we'll get to building. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so after a bit of uh, very extensive uh, deconstruction because it wouldn't all collapse at once, we're back to just the tree root as I jumped clean over it. Bring a dandelion touch when you're building in survival so that you don't take damage for that. <laughs> nice thing about this is, uh, since a lot of it requires wheat stems and uh, clover leaves, a bunch of clover leaves right over there by the towards the pond, and you've got, dan you've got wheat stems that grow right here. There's some that are right over there. you got a bunch of dandelions in that direction, much more wheat stems right over here. So supplies-wise, you're in a good spot. So what I did is, like I said, I was going to leave the three... Um, pieces of the uh, scaffolding up and that's what I suggest is this, these three scaffolding are all anchored into this root so I have a good foundation to start with and that's where we're going to go from there so let's go ahead and get started with the grass I'll have some grass floors going in and like I said you're not far from grass so it's not like you're in a, in a terribly bad spot there's a bunch of grass just above the little mouse icon on the screen right now it's not very not very far from here and the main room is three by three. So we're going to do obviously three on top of the scaffolding and then one off of each side to give me my nice three by three. Now this spot, I'm going to go one past it. 
because that's where I'm going to run my stairs down. And that's actually what I'm going to do first is get the stairs to go down. So get the stairs going down and you can attach a second one right there that leads you straight down to this, this uh, leaf. And then to keep myself from falling off because it's bound to happen. It doesn't want to lift up. Okay, not a problem. We will get the windowed stem walls and surround the bottom edge. And we just gotta get these last two right here. Now, let's try to get the handrails back in place. I know I wish we had actual stair handrails, but bringing a triangle wall halfway up does actually provide you with uh, ha a handrail. It's not, maybe not the most elegant, but it works. And you could always go with the inverted triangle piece too underneath to kind of hide the stairs. You could go if you want to have a nice clean look to it. I don't know if it'll need the bottom one. Nope. But at least you have that nice, just clean look. The only problem is you still have the stem sticking down from the bottom of the stairs. You could do um, roof pieces right here, except they don't anchor in like the stairs do, I don't think. Uh, but that's all up to you. you. If you want to do roof pieces right here instead, you could do that as well. So, either way. Either way it works. And since I'm standing here, and I do remember I had a light right here. Just so you have a light on the way up the stairs. We'll get to the uh, the pallet storage here in a little bit. That'll probably be near the end. All right. So, like I said, when when I was in Lorenzo's world, he had boxes just under the corners. Instead, I'm gonna go a little bit more extensive with my box layout. Still gonna only have them on the floor, and I'm gonna turn them sideways like this. I'm in first person, so I can get a little bit more accurate lineup and that one is got to remember you got to bring it off the wall just a bit because some certain parts of the wall stick out a little more now you can turn that one if you want you know it's up to you i'm just going to leave it like this so it's still going to be easy to access but i would recommend if you want to do the boxes do them before you build anything up above them or they're going to want to lift up on top of whatever's built right above this this space So, and this could be your main storage areas right here. You, know, you walk in, you've got your storage, you've got water, you'll have the bed, which is going to be close by. You saw where I had that. I, would, I probably won't go any further than that just so I don't block the doorway. But you see you have a decent amount of storage. And you can even go with a few over here if you want. And like I said, it all depends on how many boxes you want in your base. Um, if you want less boxes, a little bit more of a clean look, then you obviously don't do this. You put maybe the ones in the corner underneath the little half shelves, and that's it. I'm also going to, like I said, put that right there since I have other plans for the tippy top of the roof. And we're going to go here to the little triangle pieces. And we're going to lay those out. Try and get that one to line up correctly, and it did not. All right, now, before I do the water, I'm actually going to do the next uh, row of, um, like, the first row of uh, roof pieces, so I have something to stand on. And then we'll push this all the way to the corner, if it'll go. And this is going to be all the way to the corner with the regular roof piece. That corner, that little gap right there, will obviously fill that in with a different different type of roof piece. We'll get there though. That's out of position. And it went right back to being out of position. Even though I clicked while it was right. Okay. There we go. So yeah, you're just going to surround this with the Regular roof piece. And I'm, I'm doing all these first before I do the, uh, what is it, the interior roof piece, I think is what it's called. And then we're going to go to the roof interior corner is what it is. 
And that's how we'll close in this little, these little pieces. And then we'll go here. We'll do this one. All right, now from there, I'm not going to go any higher yet. I will in a second. I want to get these water things done. And I just really like the idea of putting them up on these little shelves. I don't know why, but I did. It's very, It was a little tricky for me to get to work, though. Now all of a sudden, I want to work. Let me spin it all the way around. <laughs> now it doesn't want to work. Of course. So yeah, that's why I want to be up above it. Is so I can look down and see exactly where the feet are sitting. So that I can have it to where it's like that. Now yes, one of the feet may stick off the edge. You know, that happens. And now for the lights, I put them right on the edge of the, these shelves. So that I can have lights surrounding the rooms. The room. And then I put one right here. So you have a decent amount of light in a very small room. It's okay. And then some sort of light up here just behind the bed. You can use a lean too if you don't want to spend the uh, the resources you see on the screen right there for the bed. You know, that's up to you. Uh, if you've been playing for a long time, resources kind of stop becoming an issue and you just build. So I go for the bed just because it looks better. I use this spot for the bed just because it was, well... After setting it all up, it was more or less the most logical place I could find. Now, we're going to go up another section of roof pieces. Got to get the roof corner and put that on the corner. You got to do all four. So before I switch blueprints, which, you know, some people don't mind switching blueprints. Um, I have weird like that. Apparently I missed something when I was, when I was doing my deleting. Can I delete that? Nope, not there yet. We'll get to it. Now we're going to go to the roof interior corner. And that's going to go on either side of the corner pieces we just laid. So you're going to put one on each side of the corner pieces. If it will do what it's supposed to do. There we go. And this last one over that I missed earlier. Now we'll go back to the regular clover roof piece. And close in around here. Alright, and that's your walls that lead you up to that main area where you saw I had like the workstation and everything. So, where is it? That's what I'm for. So we're going to use this right here is going to be our marker to let us know where to come in at. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, grass floors. The grass floors on the bottom were oriented in this direction, so I'm going to continue that going forward. That way we have that continuity through the whole build. So going this direction, it's two, it's double wide. Going this way, it's a single. All right. Now I'm going to put a little triangle floor here. Like I said, I had issues doing Lorenzo's cool little trick with the uh, 
the workbench. I'm going to try it one last time, though, to get it right. So he puts down a workbench, and he grabs the windowed stem wall. Make the arrow face out towards us. See, it doesn't want to line up correctly, and I'm pretty sure he might have spent a little bit of time getting that lined up just right. But I'm going to go ahead and put it just to put the wall in and put the bench in front of it. Now this I know is three walls high, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw all three walls out. Same over here. Now, I know that goes there. I also remember that on these, where it was too wide, this part coming out had an actual triangle triangular floor point sticking out like so and i'm gonna go ahead and throw in the uh the sprig front the sprig rail fence or whatever it is a light and a couple armor dummies now when lorenzo had it he had one armor dummy where the light is but i changed it up a little bit just to have a few extra pieces in here. Do the same thing on this side. Your triangle floor. Come out here and make a point, like so. I like handrails because when I'm streaming, I tend to look up while I'm running around to see what's going on in my chat. And I every, well, every so often walk off the edge of something if there's no handrail. So. That is an issue that I deal with, so that's why I use handrails. Alright, and then this one over here is just a handrail. Or a sprig fence is what it's called. I call it a handrail. Alright, so... Since I was having issues with his little trick, which I'll show that near the end of the video, the, when I was talking about with how he has his workbench set up and I'll show that a little later you can fit a basket right underneath here for some little storage that kind of looks like it belongs there it's up to you and then above that is where I have triangle floor and I'll do the boxes and stuff above that in just a second I want to go ahead and because you gotta remember you got to do everything under the you got to build from the bottom up I'm going to center one of these and then squeeze two more, one on each side of it. Obviously, you can put more if you're a person who doesn't use the um, the roasting spit. You could put three more right here to have six. Or if you want to maybe put this somewhere else altogether, the smoothie maker, there you go. Now, for this one, I suggest after you get these floors built, to actually lay out your boxes from up top like from on the shelves themselves. And the reason I suggest that is so that you can get that lined up just the way you want it and you're not kind of guessing. First person is also really good for this too. So if I can get this just right, you can see I have my corners pretty close to right at the edge of the shelf. I'm pretty sure I could fit more boxes on here, but I'm just going for more for the look than the functionality. You could fit two boxes on here though if you squeeze them in just right. But all, like I said, I'm going for the, the look more than anything else. All right, now this one, I may have a little bit of an issue getting up there. Sometimes Max wants to make the jump, sometimes he doesn't. And if he doesn't, that's okay. An easy way to get up there would be to do a floor just kind of halfway up or you've got the extra supplies and don't mind it there's some stairs in but this way you can get up here and you see I can get that blueprint the corners right at the edge of the shelf on both of these shelves and like I said just going for that look and then we'll delete this set of stairs now that is pretty much the main floor I did have a bunch of lights in here so we're just going to like I said I'm going to build from the bottom up Normally I build and didn't do lights afterwards, but I'm doing it all at the same time this time. 
And right now, if you notice, there's a little notch on the on the door right there. It's that little notch just to the left of the mouse window, the mouse icon, I mean. And I'm just trying to line this up right on there. So there's a little not notch right there, too, just left of the uh, mouse icon. And I'm lining up on that in case you're wondering what I was using for a reference. Trying to get all the lights to be roughly the same height on the wall. They may not be 100% perfect, but they'll be close. Let me go back to the third person. Okay, now we had boxes over here. So in order to get the boxes in just right, you got to do the walls first. But you can't do this roof piece until you do a corner piece, an interior corner piece, preferably in the correct spot. Me and the, me and the interior corner pieces don't get along apparently. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. I'm going I'm to go do all the other side as well before I do the boxes. Just so I can do all the boxes at once. Obviously, you're going to build a structure before you do like the boxes and everything. Well, at least that's how I do it. I get my structure completed, then I worry about the uh, fine-tuning details. But in creative, we can do it all at the same time. All right, so now we got all those, all the little uh, spots laid out for when we put the boxes. Now, the nice thing about this is we can actually do this little half shelf up here prior to putting the boxes in. And the reason that is is because technically you're putting the box here and not under the shelf. Let's go to the other side. Also, be mindful that that is attached to the sprig railing, and I don't want that. I want it attached to the roof piece, so the sprig railing may have to wait. But right now it's letting me do it um, and push them past this rig railing onto the roof piece. So if this fourth one will cooperate, of course there's always that one. There. Now we can do our boxes over here. And the reason I did the boxes, I said do the boxes after the shelves is so I can line these boxes up the way I want. And then down here on the bottom, Same thing. Over here, rotate the box. Maybe jump up here so I can get it lined up on the edge just right. Drop down, same thing. Just trying to get it all lined up correctly. And then just for a little extra light by your boxes, I would do this in first person, just so you can get really, really, really precise where you want to put it. If you'll notice in the middle of these wall sconces, they have that little rope tie. I try to make sure that's directly on that little rope tie right there. I try to make sure that's directly on the edge of the shelf. Um, while you're doing this build, if you're going to build in this exact spot, make sure you have a dandelion tuft in case you fall. Because that won't end well. All right, now we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of the of this roof going up. Yep. Okay, so we're going to need that to get in its spot. Thank you. All right, let's go get this side done. And maybe once we build these up, I can delete that handrail. 
we will be putting that back soon. I could have built right to it, but it might have been a problem. So I'll just get it out of the way now. And we'll put that back in just a moment. All right, so that's going to be it as far as doing the roof pieces on the inverted like that. Now we're going to turn around and use them the correct way. We're actually going to turn them around and use that leaning in instead of out. If it will attach. There we go. Always got to get that first one to attach. And this is where we will cross over the armor dummy uh, area. And we'll just keep going across. Same thing, go back to the regular roof, uh, regular clover roof piece. Oh, nope. Roof pieces are weird. I like to float. There we go. And yes, all those gaps, we will come back. And yes, there is some that actually do need to be deleted. So this one in the middle, we're technically not going to build. That is our ways up to the roof. So you're not actually going to build this one. Like over here, we would do the one that's right here. We would skip that one and do that. And then we'll go ahead and close this part out, close this part off right here. Now, before you do the interior, oh, we gotta close the side real quick. So let me close that real quick, then I'll go back to what I was saying. Oops. Also, since this is technically your way up from down low, you're probably going to want to put a little light right here. Maybe put a little light over here. Okay. Now, before we can do the inverted, uh, the interior roof corner, I would suggest doing your little way out right there. I would get that laid down first. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. I would get that laid down first just so that you can... Uh, it'll be easier. I've had issues when I first built this and it didn't want to didn't that blueprint didn't want to take when I had this stuff right next to it and Now it did that down there So we obviously wouldn't have this I don't know why it's not let me select that to delete it there. Maybe because third person just wasn't looking at it, but whatever now, highly recommend, since this is technically your way out to the roof, handrails. Maybe a light. I'm going to set up all four of those real quick. Okay, we have a sprig rail or handrail. It just decided it wanted to be difficult. Luckily, we can reach it easily. Oops, wrong thing. Hey, let's get the last one. So we're almost got the structure done. We have one more row of roof pieces. We still have to finish this last little bit right here on this this row we're on. Um, obviously, we still have to. Now, go ahead and finish this in. We can 
Maybe get that to work. There we go. And that'll be your how to get up to the top part is right there. So these roof pieces are always the ones that want to give me problems. See? It was in the right position. We'll delete that when I get up there. All right, so we can actually just go out the way we, right here. You go out this way, you turn around, you hop up. A little risky? Yes. Worth it? Yes. And then, of course, now from here, it's just going to be regular roof, the regular roof piece all the way across. As you can see from the earlier, when I started the video, that base that was there, some mushrooms grew while I was trying to delete it. And uh, that's what's right there. So we'll harvest those when we get to them. We're almost there. We just got to finish closing this in real quick. We're almost done. We're almost done with the building. I still got to do a little warehouse outside. And show you guys what I was talking about with, if I can get it to work, uh, the way Lorenzo has his um, workbench is set up. Really cool effect. I just, for some reason, it wouldn't work for me. And here in creative, it may just be a creative thing. Who knows? So now we're going to do the actual roof pieces. Now the roof, make sure that the floor is turned the same direction as the rest of the building. Um, I don't know about anybody who's watching this, but if you're like me, that bothers you if some roof squares or some floor squares are not facing the same way. Unless you're going for that hatch pattern where you turn every other one. And I've seen that. It actually comes out looking pretty nice. Um, I saw it in somebody else's world one time. Right, that piece of grass is not supposed to be hanging over the edge. So let's delete that because we're not supposed to go over here. You see it is getting late. I just fell. Just come back up this way, try not to fall again, which I almost did. And then a couple of corner pieces, like so. Now, if you notice what I had here at the very top was a roof corner sticking off the edge. I understand it's getting late. Uh, we got about 20 seconds, and then I'll just drop a lean-to somewhere so I can sleep. And you just put these, just a regular uh, roof corner sticking up like that. Let me go ahead and put a lean-to down. I will delete that here in just a second. And pick all these out of the way. As you can see, it is now time to sleep. So, we'll let Max do his sleep. We'll get rid of this. Obviously, I would have just dropped down to the bed. It would have been a lot. It would have been better. Also, too, what I had up here was a bunch of boxes. Using the uh, weed stem, window weed stem wall that's coming through the roof, I'm using that as my spot to line these up with. And technically putting them right here, really not in the way of anything, because you can still get the jerky racks in between there. You know, obviously, if they're oriented correctly.
probably could have put the boxes a little bit further back, but I didn't want to have too many issues with it. Now, to, to provide light up here, I just went with lights on the, well, <laughs> thought they were sticking on here, but they're actually not. They're hanging, they're floating in front of it. Just trying to find that spot where it's as far out as it can go without rotating. Okay, that's going a little too far. Apparently the right side can go further out than the left. That's why I'm trying to line them, up, line, line them up on the legs of the uh, jerky rack. Now, if you're like me and you don't use um, mushrooms anymore, don't put the mushrooms up here. You could put your um, zipline anchor right here. And then connect it to wherever. I mean, you're pretty high up if you build here. Um, depending on how high you build, depends whether or not you need to have a tower. You obviously can go in several directions. You are blocked a little bit by off the corners. Obviously, that corner doesn't matter if it's blocked. There's a tree in the way. But the rest of these can be a bit of an issue um, if you're trying to do that. You could raise it up a little bit, like put a scaffolding underneath it, and then raise it up. But then you kind of change the the overall look of the base, I think. But that is the base itself. We're going to go do the um, the little storage area for pallets and stuff. Because there's one thing this, ba this base does not have inside of it is storage area as far as pallets go. And you see I put a bunch of boxes down here, like I said. So you have a nice little storage area here. And then right over here, you can actually make some of these, uh, these foundations take. And I'm going to try to aim them towards my rose garden base over there. I'll go ahead and link that description link that video in the description below now i've got two of those and i'm going to go with grass floors because you can only go so far in the can before it tells you that before it just comes up as red and invalid now the first row of grass floors is actually not going to be part of the, the pallet storage area it's going to be part of the way up so that when you jump up you can just run straight up and then run straight up again and then run running back maybe go a little bit a little, a little left so and just to you know as always safety first now let's finish the grass floor so it was five out there so this is one that i'm standing on two three, four, five, and then three wide. So, got to fill all that in. And then handrails. And I would do a handrail here and here. I know it may, may, maybe not make a whole lot of sense, but you're just kind of sectioning off the walkway from the warehouse area. Now with it being five wide, I'm going to have some lights around it. I'm trying to center them, so I'm going to have one at the very far end, center. And then... It is five wide, so I'm going to go to the middle one, the third one. I'm going to go to that middle part of the sprig rail, sprig fence, sorry. And click on that, put that there. And then I'm going to put a light out right outside the opening on each side. I'm just trying to go for symmetry. Even do a light over here. Just kind of help light the way up. I don't even know if you can do a light down there. You can, okay. So, many lights or as little lights as you want. That's up to you. So, pick one side for grass. You know, rotate them, rotate the uh, blueprint however you want it to look. 
And if it's four. And if you space them out right, you can get it looking nice. You get four grass there, and if I'm not mistaken, we can get eight without glitching them inside of each other for these guys. I always like to do one right by the light, too. And then I'll space it like so. I know I've went right past the light without dropping one. I don't know where that blueprint's going. So I have no clue why it's doing that. It wasn't doing that when I first built this area. Let me go ahead and rotate it. Maybe that might have something to do with it. I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. Okay, so that is being a little weird. So it messes up that line. When I first started this video, those were all lined up nice and neat. I don't get it, but whatever. So that is what I can, what I and chat called a hot air balloon. Maybe you might call it a diamond, but to me, that just kind of gives me the look of a hot air balloon, especially with the lines coming from the weed stems up around the sides like that. So, like I said, this is a build that I saw in Lorenzo Saucedo's world when I went to go visit him this weekend uh, during the Grounded stream with viewers. He, and he agreed that I could make a video on this, and I'll, obviously I'm going to give him a shout-out because it's his build. Um, he has another build that he gave me as well. And then I'll have a video on that coming soon as well. So, you know, keep an eye on the channel. We'll have more build videos coming. Uh, always, always happy to put out more build videos. So, if you guys like this content would like to see more like it, Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and until the next video, y'all have a good one.